Oh, hello there. Welcome to Sao Paulo, my apartment. This is a short video meant to show you a little bit about my base that I just picked up, which is this lovely Brazilian brown 1982 Ibanez RS824BB. Very long name or a very long base, actually. It's quite long. But enough about the length of my base. Let's talk about some of the features, shall we? This is a classic PJ setup, as you can see here. J bass, P bass. Just passive, volume, volume, tone, tone, three-way selector. AccuCast bridge, which is a really nice heavy duty. Got a lot of mass down here by the anchor points, which they claim helped transfer resonance into the wood. Makes sense to me. Brass saddles, which have a nice patina, or patina, depending upon your nationality, I suppose. It's a mahogany body, and the lighter color you're seeing is actually the wood itself, the grain of the wood. The swirly, fudge-ripple-looking stuff is a semi-opaque finish that they applied. Every one of these look different, so it's kind of cool to see what mine looks like. It's uh, The finish is in incredible condition for something that's over 30 years old. Four-bolt neck. Very nice quarter sawn maple, three piece neck with maple 24 fret board. You can see it's got quite a relief here, so you can get up to the top little fret as there. Um, black philonic, I'm sure. Inlays, uh, bone nut, brass cover that says right on it, Roadster. There we go, there's the light. Got the Hercules heart-shaped tuners, which are very nice, uh, vintage thing. Got a nice inlay here on the headstock, too, and you can see how tight the grain is on that. There's a little flame in there, too, if the light hits it just right. There you go. You can see how nice that is. Uh, really well balanced. One of the things I like about this base, actually, is that it is so well balanced and not too heavy. Some people say, oh, those things are super heavy. Eh, not really. I don't find this to be heavy. And it stays put. You know, you can move around. That's a, I mean, that is as scientific, really, as you want for any kind of testing. Uh, the tone, this is pretty well going to suck because it's basically being recorded by the speaker, uh, through the speaker, into the built-in mic. So, bear with me. But anyway, this is just a... I mean, it's nice and fat. It sounds much better to me than it will to you. But, uh, P bass pickup has got a nice grit, little growly. You know, kind of nice. It's also got that old school, you know, kind of funky vibe to it. The jazz bass pickup is nice and Poppy, tight. I like it. Both pickups together also gives a nice sound. It's got a, a mellow. Uh, the, this setting here is really good for slap, if you like that sort of thing. I'm trying to cut down on it myself, because it's you know, I'm trying to keep my figure. <laughs> just basically different tones without even adjusting tone, knob, either one or the pickups. <clears throat> if you want to get a really fat tone for the front, I'm not doing it with my head, but anyway, it's 
it's really, <clears throat> really round. And again, the back pick up if you want to get really. So that's a little bit <clears throat> about the RS-824 BB-1982, which was a very good year for me, personally. I like it, and I hope you do too. Come back some other time when I'm interesting. I'll be here.